Welcome back to Prez Kai. I'm the business Prez, and we got the daily trend. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm bringing it. Of course you can. Come say hello. Come here, come here. This is Mav. Hey. What are we doing, Mav? What are we doing today? Like a Roblox video. Roblox? No, nah, not today, bud. Roblox is next time. Right, yeah. No, not now. Next time. Next time, next time. What are we doing today? Making video. We got the daily trend. Guys, juicy, juicy details. We've got Ethereum. We've got my favorite XRP. We've got a couple old coins. But mainly what we're looking at today is Bitcoin. And you'll see why in a minute. Hello. 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 Who's this? My dog. Hello. Hello. Family special. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look. <laughs> Really small, really small. All right, so we're looking at Bitcoin now. We were studying this down channel the other day. I was saying we got some divergence and we're probably going to pick up, and we did. So we flipped this bottom as support. The moving average is giving us a big lift, and we're straight into our resistance levels. So this is where we could expect people to take some targets. Put the wheels back on them. This is where we can expect people to take some targets. And with Bitcoin, usually people sell some Bitcoin and put it into some old coins like Ethereum, like XRP, like Shiba. And the newly one, oh, 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 get into that later. Buddy, please put the words on. That noise is not very nice. Or the camera. <laughs> We're looking at Bitcoin first. Let's see it's picked up. We're getting into quite high areas of the RSI. Now, when we get into these areas, we're quite quite tall, quite parabolic, and then we can see quite a sharp pullback nearly every time. So we can nearly expect a sharp pullback. Get rid of some of this. We can expect a pullback to say this area. Previous top, we can now flip it as support. Okay. And our moving averages will pick us up as well. So yeah, that's Bitcoin. Been going strong and everything else has been kind of flat. So while Bitcoins are sucking all the dominance back up, this is the Bitcoin dominance chart. We can see we were down here previously and then we've just broken out of the 50. No. Breaking out of the 50, and we're probably going to come back to the top of where this wedge broke down. Because as I had it before, when we broke this this wedge previously, I thought we were just going to straight up continue. But now it seems like we're getting a bit of double bottom formation. So we'll have to see. If Bitcoin keeps going strong. What happens next? Do we break out of this? Here, get a retest and then continue on? I don't think so. I don't think Bitcoin will be going up in terms of dollars. In terms of dollar value, yes, but when Bitcoin takes a bit of a breather, we can see the money flow into other altcoins. So on the RSI, we are getting quite high and we pulled back. So whether we uh, start to top out here, lose momentum and come back into a buy zone, and that will indicate kind of the next round for the, the altcoins, the, the next altcoin season, the next wave for altcoins. All right, so on a macro trend, we can see that over the years, Bitcoin has been following this trend line at every massive bottom. Okay, this is the COVID drop. This was the previous bear market capitulation bottom. And we can see this wedge breakout, and now we're in our new uptrend. Okay, so we come back to, a, we come to a resistance, and uh, it all depends where we go from here. We should be making new supports and coming up to these resistance levels before eventually getting knocked down. Maybe breaking through this for a little bit. And then, yeah. End of the bull run is this year. 
So I'm pretty much going to get out anyway because no doubt after we hit this range we will be coming straight down for 90% corrections over the year. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Yeah. You know it, you know it. So that's just where we are in terms of like the weekly trend. It's a bit of a more macro one. This is zooming in. <clears throat> you see that at the start of the year, we were pretty parabolic following this trend line. And where did it break? When we broke it and we hit a lower high. And then we were in this bearish trend following this resistance. And when we broke it, retested it, we're now in a bullish trend. So I see us picking this up. Even if we pull back, we're going to pull back to the trend line and continue on. There's nothing wrong with that because that's the previous top. We're pulling back to our area of support and we're continuing on. So even if Bitcoin drops a bit, the rest of the market's most likely able to pick up. Bitcoin will pull back to support and then people will sell out of the old coins, buy back into Bitcoin, and so the cycle and that's continues. Why I need a million. <laughs> I need a million too. Hey, whoa, 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 stop touching. Come back yeah. here if you want to be in the video. Hey. We got our milks today. Hey, my coffee. Where's your milky's mouth? And now looking at Ethereum, we can see Ethereum up on this, high up in this triangle, up near the uh, up near the target areas, near the resistance. And we can kind of move these levels up a bit now, because you see the 200 moving average is coming up to here. We're slightly up a bit in the a couple of million subscribers, that'd be great. So, yeah, as, a, <laughs> as Ethereum fills out this triangle, we can expect a big breakout in either direction. My money is on the upwards direction. And uh, if we break down, we can kind of start. Whoop. <laughs> you okay? We kind of start getting out at these levels, yeah. yeah Maybe back in, we just have to see what the uh, what things are like, what the markets do. But yeah, I expect these trends to fill out and break in the upwards direction. <laughs> XRP, same thing. We're just filling out this triangle. We've got the top resistance. We've got the bottom support. And we've got the movie uh, moving average right in the middle. Our last signal was a buy. We broke above the 50. So things are looking good. I expect the same thing, maybe even at the top. And then start breaking out from here. So if we, zo oh, if we zoom out, we can expect things to get quite parabolic, as we can see back here. So, yeah, I'm just sitting there playing the patience game for XRP. A big catalyst for XRP Songbird, I've been waiting for ages for the Flare Network to come out, and it hasn't come out for a long, long, long time. Kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back, and for some reason it just wasn't coming out. And the Flare Network's not here, but Songbird is. <laughs> Songbird is like the test net, the canary network, the Kusama to the polka dot. Songbird here, I just got some the other day. Because I held XRP in the snapshot. Now the way I'm playing this is I'm buying anything under where I got it. Because these things are new. And the new things, they're like your 100x returns plus. So I've been selling some Shiba. Shiba looks like it's topping out. Even though we've got higher highs. Wait. We got knocked back here. We had like a massive 40% correction, a big pullback. All right, and then here's our high, and here's our low. And we kind of formed this symmetrical triangle, but we broke up from that. So then we made higher lows and higher highs. So Shiba could be, could be about to make the next leg up, but I don't think so. I think this resistance is going to hold. Shiba's likely to lose momentum 
break down from here and maybe stay in a sideways range for a long time. And then we can see, yeah, she would do this kind of price action for a long, long, long time. Yeah, three, three months or so, just sideways. So I'm pretty much out of Shiba. I've moved into the next things that I'm expecting to do this run up. And then we can play the, the range game. You know, we can try and accumulate here as this builds a support line and sell here into resistance. And try and either build our bags or just build our cash position. And that's the way I'll be playing this. So yeah, these things, because they move fast and then they range a lot. This will be volatile for a long time, but in terms of holding spot, is it going to make you much money? No, it's not. It's not. So yeah, these kind of things will range. Might go parabolic again, however, I doubt it. I doubt it. So there's your old coins. We've got Shiba, we've got Songbird, the XRP looking juicy, Ethereum looking juicy, and Bitcoin. Because it's breaking up, because it's being so strong, we can expect this to lead the old coins into some more upwards directions. See on the daily, even if we pull back to support, like these levels are kind of coming up now, and support, support's getting a bit higher. <laughs> so yeah, slowly we can see that the trend is up. Okay, and what kind of pattern is it making at the moment? kind of making this ascending triangle, ascending triangle, ascending channel. So yeah, even if we get rejected here, we can come up, we can come up, we can come up, we can come up. Up and down, up and down, up and down. This is the bull market. So as long as we get bounce of support and a continuation, the trend is up, the trend is bullish. <laughs> Rollies. So there's our support. There's the top. Did we come down and break support? No, we didn't. Okay, so the support we made. Oh. <laughs> made a higher low. And then what do we do? We break out, we made a higher high. So what we can expect. this level to hold guys that's all for today smash the like button thanks for watching i really appreciate it if you like post your coin in the comments and uh we can have a chat about chat about chat about chart and this is one adjustment i wanted to make on ethereum yeah, we can watch it in a second. Hopefully it breaks up from here and we continue on. And if we see that, it'll break this red resistance line and we will go oh, the next level up. Please. But we could always have another pullback. We could go sideways. It's all good. But for the next three months, we're holding on for dear life. We're expecting this thing to kick off. Let's go the bull runners. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. Smash a like, leave a comment, share with your friends, talk about it. Uh, hit me up if you want any other questions answered or anything, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.